my friends. Here I am once again, back in the desert, late October. That can only mean one thing. It's time for the Javelina 100, and it feels really good to be here. This is my third time here. This is my third 100 mile race, and it sounds funny, but I'm looking forward to it. I know that I'm gonna go deep into the pain cave. That's what happens. And uh, I'm, I'm curious about what this race is gonna teach me. Every race teaches me something new about myself, about other humans, about how far I can dig, about nature, about everything. And I look at this as another opportunity just to learn and to see what happens. And uh, I'm excited for it. I remember after my very first Javelina three years ago, I was like, there's no way I'm ever gonna do something like this again. And here I am. <laughs> the humans are funny, you know? When we're in the moment and, and pain is just all encompassing, we're like, no way, Jose. But then you give yourself a week, two weeks, and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna do that again. That's a great idea. Let's go back there. So here I am. And I feel very grateful to be here. Once again, my body feels strong. I've been training. I've been running this time. Last year, I did a lot more biking than running. And uh, yeah, I'm ready. And also this year, Besides Dana and Xantha, the most amazing crew anybody could ever ask for, I have my mama. My mom is finally coming out here to check out and see what it's all about. And it's really fun to have her here because she gets to see why I love this race so much. And I love this race. Obviously, the race is fun, but it's the community, it's the people, it's the energy. It's the fun, it's Halloween, it's the costumes, it's the desert, it's running under the stars, it's hearing coyotes, it's seeing rattlesnakes, it's making new friends. Uh, this race is something special and that's why I make the long trip out here every year. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for my third Javelina 100. Here's my feet. Here's my Xantha. Here's my stuff. <laughs> Here's Xantha's stuff. She's running the 100K. How I don't do you start feel? for an hour. I feel great. I feel good. I'm a little scared, but I feel good. <laughs> it's good to be scared. These yeah. things hurt. Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's going to. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep smiling. That's I'm all. Not, I'm not sure what. I'm not sure why, but I'm, I'm out here. I'm doing it. You are going to be so proud of yourself. So I think you're going to do it. Thank you. Thank you. I got it. What about me, Mom? And I think you're going to do it too, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking care of business back here. This is crew food, yeah. Pop-Tart. Mm. So, you know, someone's got to be ready to get <laughs> everyone through this race when they're crying, and they're messing their pants, and they're, everything's <laughs> happening, everything's going down. I got your back. Mm -hmm. And Xantha, we'll get you through this. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay. I am, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good. goes from pure mayhem to total solitude in a matter of half a mile. The beginning of the race is my favorite part. It's so quiet. The first lap of this race can be really tricky because you have all the energy and you want to go out fast and you're feeling great. And I made that mistake the first year. So I try to dial it back where I run pretty darn slow, saving energy for the, for the later laps. You see these cactuses right here? It's called the Choya, the jumping Choya. You wanna stay away from this one because it will jump on you. So today is forecasted to be a bit cooler than the past two years. I think mid 80s, low 80s. And tonight should be around 50. This is gonna be comfortable. I'm happy about all this. What's up, bud? What's up? How's life? It's it's magical. I see my friend Mary. 
Mary, wait up! I met Mary at the Trans Rockies this year. We bonded over Fraggles because we were the only two people who knew what Doozers were. Yeah, Doozers, do you know what they are? The little green guys from Fraggle Rock. Yes, we can, yes, we can, yes, we really can. Walk the hills, walk the hills. Mary, we walk, walk those hills. hills. What's up, Jamil? How you doing, brother? Way to go, Good to doing see great. Jamil, thank you for this beautiful race. This is the party aid station, especially at nighttime. Yeah! yeah. High five! Woo! Yeah. So it's a really good thing I don't drink alcohol anymore. This used to be my favorite, and it's dangerous. I'm trying to eat as much salty stuff as possible here. Ultra running is really just an excuse to eat junk food for 100 miles. Thank you, Jackass people! Yeah, that's right! Feeling good, feeling good. 10 miles in, it's still really early. My goal is just to eat as much as possible when I'm hungry, stay hydrated, and most importantly, just to Enjoy being out here. Enjoy a day outside, an entire day outside. Just me and my thoughts, figuring out life. <laughs> There's a lot of time to figure out things out here. And also probably a lot of time to get confused about things. She's carrying a baseball bat. Woo! Don't mess with her. Look at that, that's like a real bat. Let's go play some wiffle ball. What are you gonna do with it later? Fight off the saguaros when they come alive. <laughs> Mary just got all excited. We ran an 855 mile, which is way too fast. Way too fast. Woo! Burning it. All you guys are going too fast. Slow down. <laughs> Slow down. I swear. You're going to be thanking me at mile 90, people. Slow down. Slow down. Edgar was just talking about how he hasn't pooped yet. <laughs> Would you like to uh, elaborate on that? The poop monster hasn't came out yet. <laughs> Usually I poop during the race, before I race, and I feel great. Right now my stomach's already like uh -oh. a little too full. See, we runners, we openly talk about poop with strangers. It's all good. Mmm, mm, that's all. I've really become a fan of peanut M&Ms. Ginger really helps with the stomach. We're dancing in the morning. Feels good. Thank you. Bye, guys. Look at good. Look at this outfit. I got a new outfit. I love it. I gotta scare Mary. She's gotta be coming soon. Mary. Move! Ah! I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is she stalking me or is she in the bathroom again? Hang on. <laughs> There's a lot of times where I run these races and I'm like, I would rather be on my bike. But there's a time and place for biking and a time and place for running 100 miles. got me a nice cold. What do you need? What do you need? Mm. These are the two faces you want to see. Yeah. Mom and Dana. And usually Xantha's here, but she's not running. I think I'm going to keep going. Is that okay? Yeah. Bye. Oh, you also have to notice I brought the Colorado flag this year. Colorado, Rocky Mountain What's up? What's up? This is my favorite new family out here. Yeah. Come on, Barbie. Let's go. Whoa. Come on, Barbie. Come on. I'm being chased by Barbie. I shouldn't be hallucinating yet, but I am. All right, we're about 25 miles in. How are we feeling? Feeling good. Yeah. I love how every few miles you make new friends. <laughs> Hello, high five. Yeah, there we go. Good job, good job. Now we're coming up on the 100K runners. Looking good. They all need to be cheered on. Look who I found. Santa, and she's dancing. Loving it. So Santa just said that she's run 15 miles now of her 60, and it's the farthest I've ever run in my life. Farthest she's ever run in her life. It's awesome. I love it. USA, USA. Santa's going that way. I'm going that way. Bye, honey. Good luck. This ice on the arm trick really is the best thing you can do out here. It feels so good, and it just slowly melts, keeps your arms nice and cool. When you flex, you look like Popeye. I like your dress, that's awesome. High five. High five, looking good. Way to go, way to go. High five, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 way to go, way to go. What's up? Yo, man, how you doing? 
Yeah! Well, we got my man looking good, looking good, Brian! Nice job, yeah! My girl! How you doing? Yeah. Good to good see you, good to see you. Take a, take a little stroll in the park. Enjoy your day, yeah. enjoy your day. So the first lap, you were around runners pretty much the whole time. There's a lot of people on the trail, 750 or so. But now by the second lap, things spread out and you find yourself alone a lot, which I like. I like the mix of the extreme social interactions and then just running in the desert by yourself. And I'm feeling a little calorie deficient. I need to stop and eat more. I've been too excited. I've just been <laughs> eating candy and blowing through. Good to see you guys. Bean burritos, always the magic food. You got me? Yeah. Oh yeah, my man. These volunteers are the best. <laughs> Jackass <laughs> Junction volunteers are the best. Yeah. Oh man, when you walk out of an A station, you just feel like a million bucks. It's like a reset button. You hit it, bam, feeling good again. USA! USA! <laughs> this is where you don't want to fall right into that. That'd be bad news. Some of the cactus get really close to the edge of the trail, so you gotta be pretty careful. Look at that old saguaro. That is crazy. It looks like a skeleton. These things are hundreds of years old, so that one must be really old if it's finally having its time. the avocados this has the good fats they have little emotional support puppies at this aid station such a cutie such a cutie hi good to see you brother good to see you there it is. Oh, it off. oh yeah hi hi How high five yeah. how's everybody doing great <sighs> oh, thank you, Dana. You're welcome. Dana is the masseuse supreme. Oh, yeah, get it. Get it. Get it. Thank Got you so it. much. Thank you. Love you guys. Yep. Starting lap number three. This will be miles 40 through 60. Heat of the day. Sun will be going down at the end of this lap. Good job. Good job. Way to go. Way to go. You got this. Woo. Good job. Good job. Way to go. Way to go. Way to go. Nice job, nice job, bud. Nice job, nice job. Way to go, way to go. Yeah. Work, good work. It's my favorite, it's Freddy. Good job, buddy, yeah. That is the craziest costume that dude carries around that damn car with him for 100 miles. Nice job, nice job, way to go. Good, yeah, keep it up. This little covered picnic table is new and it seems very inviting. I like this sign right here. It says, all cyclists go to heaven where there is a never ending sliver of trail through cosmic mountains with the sun and wind always at your back. My friend Mike said something really funny and poignant yesterday. <laughs> and he said that today, the race, there's a lot more hours in these 24 hours than a normal day. And that's so true. It's like, I've already been running for like, I don't know, eight hours? Eight hours is a long time to do anything. I'm not even close to finish. What's up, guys? And uh, yeah, so this is a, one of those bonus days. Bonus days where we have more hours than 24, or at least it seems like it, because you're just alive. You're alert for every second all day long. Yo, 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 high five. I'm chasing my shadow. I just gotta stay with that guy. That guy is my pacer right there. So long as I stay with him, we're all good. Nice job, man. Looking good, looking good, buddy. That was Patrick Reagan. He's gonna win this race. He's won it the past two years. He has the course record at 1301. 13 hours and one minute. That's crazy. But you know what I said to him? I said, come on, Patrick, why didn't you run 1259? That sounds a lot cooler than 1301. Just kidding. That's incredible. That guy's a beast and he's super friendly. I met him at Trans Rockies this year. Very good dude. So I just figured it out. Patrick is on about mile 70. I'm on mile 50. <laughs> That's crazy. He's gonna finish right as the sun goes down. I will not, but I'm okay with that. I'm happy out here. But uh, I just love 
that he can run this race so fast. How about Chick-fil-A waffle fries? Oh, that is awesome. I'm hungry. I am really feeling it. I need some food ASAP or I will bonk and crash and those are hard to recover from. I need food. I need food soon. Ah, oh, finally. Yeah. Woo. Oh, this tastes so good. Now it's time for burritos. Look okay. who I found again. It's me. It's Zeta. Jackass Junction. What mile are you on? 30. That's 32. impressive. 32. Yeah, I have one more loop after this. That's right. You're going to do it. I'm walking out of there with a full mouth of food. That was much needed. Little evening nausea is kicking in. I think all the random ass food I put in my belly is having a fight in there. They're like, what? Peanut butter M&Ms and avocado and burritos and ginger and potato chips and peanut butter and all sorts of other crap. When you get in these moments of extreme nausea, it's scary because you're like, is this ever going to end? Is this how it's always going to be? Because in the moment, it's just blah. But I have enough experience to know that it'll, it'll leave, hopefully. Hopefully. Still got my pacer with me, AKA my shadow. He's getting kind of farther away from me though. So I have to run faster, stay with him. I don't know where he's gonna go when it gets dark though. Ho! Ho, 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 ho! Ah, oh, that's my mom and Dana waiting for me. Yeah! How you feeling? I feel pretty good. Yeah. The last lap I got a little nauseous. Hey look, it's Wonder Woman! Back home. Back. I saw you have a new sign here. What does the sign say, Mom? The Mama Dudes are seeking inspirational, positive, and athletic female for single son and choir within. <laughs> is that me? Yeah. That oh, that's me. Yeah. Well, you could use a dude too. If yeah. there's any dudes out here for my mom. Dana's going to town. Oh, feels good. Yeah, love you. Good 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 All right, only 40 miles to go. You got this. That last lap was my fastest lap, and I'm definitely feeling it because my body hurts now. <laughs> That's what happens when you go fast. Uh, now I just gotta maintain this speed and yeah, get this thing done. Good job, everybody. Good job. We were at the aid station, and last year they gave me soup, and it saved the day. I would love to have some soup right here. Used to eat this all the time in college. And I don't eat it much anymore except for at this race. It is very beautiful out here. My camera can't pick it up, but there are some incredible stars. There is zero moon. It is as dark as the night can be. All I can see are headlights bobbing off in the distance. It's pretty magical. Yo, what's up? Looking good. It's the Jackass Junction night party. I should probably go dance a little bit, even though I don't feel all that great. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, all right. Oh, thank you, how you feeling? I feel all right, you know? All right, I need to get some food. It's great okay. to see you all, have a good one. Man, I am really struggling with nausea this time around. I don't know what the deal is. Trying to eat, trying to drink, trying to try some new things, had some coke to see if that would settle my stomach. Hope this goes away. Because I still have like 30 miles to go. Woo woo! Good job, good. Hey, what's up? What's up? Xantha's out here. She started her last lap. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. We got Dana pacing That's for 20 right. miles. That's right. I'm so proud. I'm so proud I know. of you. Can you even stand We're it? Proud I'm so salty. proud of you. A bit of the nausea has gone away, which is nice. Now I'm just plain old exhausted. <laughs> Whew. You got this, Ryan. Stay cool. Keep moving forward. Keep breathing. 
Enjoy the beautiful night. Think of everybody you love. Whew. You'll get this, man. You'll get this. This is hard. There's no doubt about it. This is hard. I always forget how hard this is. Because <laughs> I only do it once a year. Man. That's a good challenge. I love seeing those arches. All right. Lap number four. That's what we're on. Is done. Yo, thanks, buddy. Woo! Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. This is my new friend Clint. Yeah. I've never met Clint before, but he's going to run with me, bud. It's going to be new. Thank you so much for doing this, man. You're welcome. I appreciate it. So I am going to put my camera away for this lap and just run. I'm sick of holding this thing. <laughs> oh, boy. 80 miles down, 20 to go. And at this point, I don't know if I'm gonna get my goal of 20 hours. I feel horrible. And besides hitting my goal, I'm kind of worried that everything is gonna fall apart and I'm gonna walk a lot of this lap and have a miserable time. Luckily, this guy Clint, my pacer, who came out of nowhere, he answered a tweet, was a really good, strong runner. And he kept me moving. And he kept me moving at a good pace. You see, the lap before, I really slowed down. And Clint helped me speed back up. I ate some soup at one of the aid stations, and I started feeling better. Slowly but surely, started feeling better. I think I can, I think I can. I started using every mind trick I could, and for the final 10 miles, I started feeling great. So great that I was running as fast as I've ever run in my life. At least it felt like it. I got back on pace. I felt as strong as I did on the very first lap, and I had not been this motivated in a long time to get to a finish line. Here we are again. We made it to the finish line. Woo! We're sprinting. We are sprinting. There we go. Check it out. What's up, Jamil? Thanks, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, my brother. You're welcome. He pushed me so hard that last lap. I needed this guy. Otherwise, I would not have gotten just over 20 hours. We were shooting for just under, but we missed it. That's 40 right. seconds. It's always next year.